Here are some of Peachy's favourite things. Link in the description below. Hey guys, uh, Peachy here at Peachy TT 120. Um, it's warm, isn't it? Right, so the Roco TT 3590 um, turntable. Uh, it seems like months ago since I started talking about this. Well, we finally got it installed. Um, been a lot of mucking about trying to get it to do exactly what I want it to do uh, with the help of Richard from uh, This Way Works. Um, now, he's produced a video of the technical side of what he's done to achieve what I wanted. It. Um, and there'll be a link at the end on the end screen. So you've got to watch all the way to the end now. Find that end screen and click on Richard's uh, video because it's uh, it's superb. Um, right. Uh, Let's get on, shall we? Hey guys, right, so this is the um, Rogo TT turntable. Yes, it's another one. I've bought another one. Um, this is one that I'm going to be using for my uh, National Railway Museum, um, Yorkshire Railway Museum model that I, I'm planning for next year. Now, I thought it would be a good way of explaining what we've been up to with the one that we've converted and changed for Camelot. Because looking back through my old footage, I realised that I, some people might look at what I've been saying and think either this guy's an idiot, he has no idea what he's talking about, which is sort of true, um, or people might look at it and worse, might look at it and go, well, what's he knocking Rocco for? The Rocco one works perfectly fine. He just doesn't understand how it works. So what I want to use this little part of the video for is to explain to you that I do know how the Rocco one works. I'm going to show you how it works and I'm going to show you what it does that it, what, it, well, what it doesn't do that I want it to do. Um, so let's start off with a um, quick explanation of what we are, what we're doing here. Now using the pointer, we've got a red rail and a, a positive rail and a negative rail. This represents the layout. So going off picture here would be the layout. Okay, so the locos are going to come in by here, uh, and this we have power to the. Um, the turntable rails so we've got positive on the right hand side negative on the left hand side and you can see that there is no power here at this moment okay and that is because uh, if you look at the controller uh, there's the hut end which is green so it's, it's showing you that the power is up at that end on both rails all the way to the end but at this end it's red and so it shows you that this this element here which is a isolator doesn't have any power. So then power isn't being transferred to these two rails. So there you go, a loco cannot travel, and we'll use this um, this little wagon here with an arrow on it. So this, this loco can't go any further than here because there's no juice for it. Okay, so what do we do about that? Well, um, there's a little switch on here which shows you the black and the clear, and the black represents the hut, the clear represents See, there's a little diagram of, of the, the turntable. So when you click to this side, you can see it goes green, ping. You now see that this that the, both of these rails now have uh, are connected, and they pass their their connection onto this onto this, and there's a dead end that end. Okay, so this means now that the uh, loco can drive on. Now, what happens next? Well, next you start to turn. So you push the button to to turn that way. And what happens is, so I'm going to use the little the manual release at the back here to help me manoeuvre this. Now you'll notice that as soon as we um, move away from here, that we lose the power from these rails, okay? Because obviously it's not connected to the um, uh, sprung-loaded plates underneath these rails. This continues all the way around. Now, I'm pretty sure that you can guess what would be the problem here if we were to flick this switch and connect the hut? Of course, this happens, which is of no use to man or beast because you get as far as there and then you've got a short and it can't get off. So you can't turn around on the spot in 180 degrees. So what do they do to make this operational? Well, it's quite simple. They don't go as far as there. They go to one near the one of the sidings, such as this one here. This happens because these two rails are now have no contact because the shed end 
is green. You see there, the shed end is green, which means these this isolator rail has got power. So that these two connectors underneath here power this siding or shed, whatever it is. And so your loco can then drive off and park itself into that siding or shed. So now you say, right, well, okay, that's good, but still, how do I get my loco off? Well, okay, you do something a little bit different. Now you move off of here, so immediately your rails are dead. Continue to turn this all the way around. Boom. Okay, and change the switch to the uh, non-hut end. Boom. See, now the power has transferred to this um, isolation rail, which then passes on to your siding or your engine shed, and your loco can then reverse onto the middle of the turntable. You can continue to move, um, you press the controller to move left. and off your loco can trundle, having now successfully turned 180 degrees and go out back onto your layout. So that's how Roco intended this to work. And as you can see, it's uh, reasonably long-winded. Okay, it adds to a little bit of operational fun, maybe, if that's your cup of tea. Um, but I just wanted to think to turn around 180 degrees. Um, and that's what I ended up talking to Richard at this way works about. Um, so let's carry on with the video. It was at this point I realized if I wanted a smart turntable, I needed someone smarter than me. So off to this way works, we go. And it's back from this way works with a couple of nice little mods. Uh, first of all, we've got the um, red and green traffic lights, either end, dun, dun, dun. they will show us uh, which way you can go on and off. Um, we've got a, there's a reversing module inside of here so that when this turns round, um, now I'm not sure whether he, is, is it turns round or whether he senses the, um, the polarity, but this is something that he will do, that he will show in, in his video, which we'll link at the end of this one. Um, you'll have a better understanding, show you a better understanding of what he's been up to. Uh, we've also got, so now it can turn around 180 degrees and it won't, you don't have, a, it's not got a returning loop. Actually, I don't know what it's got inside it. Uh, he'll tell you all about it. Um, all I know is it's, uh, it's ready for installation. Cheers, bye. So we've uh, glued, glued it down, but we've glued it down via the, um, the ramps so that we've got an absolute definite um, flat, perfectly positioned ramps so there's no movement now we've used good old-fashioned um, proper gorilla glue that's the stuff that expands now the reason why we did that is because although it's a fantastic thing that really seriously sticks things um, it also is something that will find some okay um, so this will be a little test piece um, I'll show you how this works later when that's finished going off. But um, adhesive remover will actually break the seal between the glue and the plastic. So I can lift these up rather than if I super glued them, then I think I might have more trouble. Then we've just, um, let's pop this off. This little stretch here had to be, the only way I could make this whole thing work was having a second radius. Okay, so, um, and we've gone in with pins all the way through to make sure that curve is as spot on as can be. Uh, and we just need to run a few little tests to make sure everything lines up, but I'm sure it does. Uh, also, I'm also going to uh, solder this joint as well, make sure that I've got the best connection. Um, after that, it's on with actually putting the main, the, the, the bed or the floor of the, the roundhouse down. That'll be the next job.
Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I particularly enjoyed uh, the little running at the end, obviously. Um, it's all doing exactly what I wanted to do. Um, if, you, uh, if you're liking this, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the little, bit, ring the little bell. Uh, poke Peachy in the face if you want to subscribe. That's the easiest way. Uh, a couple of videos up here. One of, the, one of which will be um, Richard's uh, This Way Works uh, and what he's, doing with the, what he's doing with this turntable. Uh, um, click on it and enjoy.